Good morning, this is Debbie, and I thought I would just come on and let you watch me set up my new planner for Christmas. This is the old one, and I went through here, and I made a list of what worked and what didn't work, and I got that ready, and I got my little supplies, I've got my uh, ink pad here. Got my little camera stamp. And, uh, what I do with these, I'll go through here and see if I can find it. Um, I just might put one in there. Oh, I stamped some. Let me find them. If there's a page, like I know I'm not going to use this page. I just stamped my little camera there and I know that I can put a photograph there for whatever's going on that day. I have collected me some uh, little washies here in case I need them. Got my scissors. I have printed out some pages that I may or may not use for my uh, Christmas planner polka dot posy. This one I printed out to show you how I do it. This is a regular size. This goes in an A5 or a half letter and uh, obviously I'm not going to use that but if you print them down at 75% they fit in this little book just perfect. So I printed out a bunch of those. Now I have gone ahead and I have printed out from my fall planner and I've already cut them and I didn't stick them in here, I just put them in here with the uh, repositionable tape in case I need them. So, this is, uh, the first part is the calendar section. And I like, it starts, uh, uh, no, here. it starts in October. So I went ahead and in the first part I put my fall cleaning checklist. This is uh, from the Polka Dot Posey. And it has here a little itemized list for outdoors and indoors. And this is for, uh, I belong to a uh, message group that, uh, I've already forgotten the name, let me think. The Magical Holiday Home. I'll put it in the description. I can't think of it now. It started out as the organized Christmas, and she quit having the uh, message boards, and they started up again. And uh, we've been doing this for years, and they have the holiday grand plan. They have the um, Christmas countdown. Uh, there are several of them, but uh, they help you get ready for Christmas, and they start in August. Oh, wow, I need to get, get that in here, too. So I went ahead and printed out my little fall checklist, and this is from the Polka Dot Posey on her blog, and it's a freebie. Now, I don't know that it's still there because I've had this for years, but I went ahead and I uh, used my little repositionable tape, put that in there, and this is a Christmas page. I don't need that on my Halloween, so I cut a piece of paper to fit and put there, and this is my October, and then they have this little, uh, last year's didn't have this, uh, oh, let's see, they have white, so you know, you could decorate it the way you wanted to, they have a little Christmas buffalo check, and don't get me wrong, I love me some buffalo check, but not for Halloween, so I'm going to, uh, that's what the wash is for, and then I have, Another one of them little Pokey Dot Posies uh, pages. This one is for Thanksgiving Blessings. And I stuck that over the top of the notes pages that are in between. And then I put a piece of uh, ball paper here that I'm going to cut down and decorate for Thanksgiving. And uh, for Thanksgiving, I thought I would use this little leaf uh, washi. It's little fall leaves. And I've got this one that I really like, but I paid a lot for this washi. I bought this at a scrapbook store, and there is not a bit of sticky on it. You have to use your tape runner. 
but this is going to be a little, it might work on the, on the, um, calendar view, but it will not work on the, uh, this one, because it'll cover it up. Oh, I could put it down here. Okay. Well, that'll work. And then there's the Christmas, which I'm just going to leave the buffalo check, because my whole thing for the house is buffalo check at Christmas time. And then on that same, uh, in my little Christmas planner, it has a little Christmas checklist. And I put that right before the um, December calendar. And I just went through here and stuck these things where, um, where I thought I'd use them. This year I tried to be a little more intentional about my uh, Christmas. What did I do with my list? Oh, there it is. <laughs> I made me a list. I went through my other little Christmas planner and I made a list of everything that works for me and stuff that I do every year in some form or another. And I have got my list here. So I'm not sure yet what I'm going to do with the budgeting section. I do not really keep track of uh, the spending tracker, but since I've been out of work since March because of the virus, I don't think that's going to be an issue. They'll be lucky to get presents this year. I may have to make stuff. I'll have to think about it. I do need to get on it if I'm going to. This is the list section, and this is where it says my wish list. I always do this. I've been making a Christmas wish list. Oh my, I can't remember how many years. I remember when I started it. I was feeling really depressed one day. So I made a Christmas wish list. And it was silly because I knew none of that stuff was going to happen. It was after I had first applied for disability. And I had been waiting for like two years. And on my Christmas wish list, I wished I would get my disability. And I wished it would snow. And I always wish it would snow, but you know, this is Texas. Let's face it, that's not going to happen. And then I wished, uh, I don't know, that my daughter would come home for Christmas. And uh, there were several of them. But we had a freak snowstorm. I mean, it was weird. And it was so, I've got pictures of it on my blog, I'm not lying. But it did not rain. It did not, I mean, snow anywhere in this county. I told them at work that it snowed and everybody thought I was lying. I showed them the pictures on my camera and they were blown away. I mean, it wasn't a little snow. It was a lot of snow. I had a picture of my arm and it was just covered. And uh, apparently it just snowed right here in my area. And uh, I'm telling you. And then uh, I think like two days later, I got my first disability check. It was just unbelievable, and uh, there were there were like five things on my Christmas wish list, and four of them came true. And I was just I always make a Christmas wish list. Always make a Christmas wish list. That's like the number one thing. Also, I have a uh, to give list. And I put my names down here, but I don't like the way they set this up. So I printed out some from the polka dot posy, which I'm going to put in here. And I'm going to go ahead. This is probably going to be a long video, but uh, I'm warning you up front. And there's the uh, air conditioner in the background because this is July in Texas. And I'm sorry, the air conditioner is not negotiable. But you know, I don't use, uh, I don't, I don't get real fussy about the details. I'm not going to sit there and grab the paper trimmer. And we are keeping it simple. my little repositionable thing and I just temporarily stick these in here until I'm sure that's where they're going. And I'm sure this is where they're going because this is uh, I will 
probably I'm going to go ahead and put a couple extras in here because you know oh I just thought something I didn't put on my list I have lived by myself for so many years with my family not being around and I'm a total Christmas addict so I had developed a lot of little bizarre Christmas traditions let's see I forgot to put my random act of kindness on there. I had a lady that came to my shop the first year I did that, and she was so, so, so poor. And, you know, it wasn't her fault. She was disabled. She was in a, a retirement community, and she was barely able to get around. She was telling me about her... Um, she liked to have an eggnog party and she would do it for the residents out there and she wasn't going to be able to do it this year because she just didn't have any money. So I got a $50 bill from the bank and put it in an envelope and when she was out of her apartment one day I stuck it under the door from Santa Claus. And she came into the shop the next week and she was telling me about her plans for her eggnog party and she was so excited. Uh, I can't remember how she put it. Oh, she said, I got me a little Christmas money. She was, she was kind of snotty about it too. It was funny. <laughs> but I've never forgotten that. It made me so happy. And, uh, and she, she was not a real nice person either, but, she, you know, it's all right because, I, you know, she was just tickled to death, and I and I, just, I like to do a little something for somebody. And I'm probably not going to be able to do anything like that this year, but I'll do something. It's, it's going to be small, but I'll do my little random act of kindness. Let's see, I've got my... Did I cover up online shopping? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, well that'll cover the family. And then there's online shopping. I'm on a... I might spruce that up a little. I, I don't like the minimal. I'm not a minimal person. No, maybe not. Is that too dark? Oh, that works. I like to give them a little something something. By the time Christmas gets here, there's going to be a little something something on all these pages because that's how I roll. I'm still, I'm still working on last year's. I'm really excited about this one though, because the last year's it didn't click in my head until the middle of October. Like, oh, I could have been writing down my dailies in there. So that one's, but I'm ready, girl. First day of November, I'm on it. And I just figured out how to print photos from my phone onto my computers. I'm, I'm not savvy. I don't even pretend to be savvy. But um, I just figured it out. You know, I went into Google Photos and ah, there they were. <laughs> and I figured out how to print them. I have a little selfie. But the paper is so expensive for that thing and there's no, there's no room in the budget right now for uh, selfie paper. That's just not going to happen. But I figured out how to print them on the computer, and I do have a great big old pack of uh, HP paper for my printer. And you know, when it comes right down to it, I'll print it on cardstock. I ain't picky. You know, it's not like this is uh, ever. You know, it's not like anybody's gonna fight over this after I'm gone. I'm under no illusions. I print my recipes and stuff out on uh, uh what do you call it? 
brain freeze uh, cardstock or tapping paper and put them in here. I'm not sure I'm going to be using more than one page of online shopping because So I may decorate more. I may just stamp my uh, camera there because I'm going to put a photo there. I haven't decided yet. Let me see how many. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, be doing holiday card because I have I have problems. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen twenty-six. Fifty-two. almost a hundred here. I may not have to add a uh, sheet of them. Okay, that's cool. Then there are random checklists. Not sure what I'm going to use those for. I will probably put a photo here. I don't need, I don't, you know, party one, party two, party three. And yeah, there won't be no parties. So that's, that's probably going to be Definitely put a photo there. This was, let me see. Yeah, this was one of the little dollar wooden stamps they used to have in the dollar bin at Michael's. I love that thing. Okay, here is my uh, polka dot posy. It has the Thanksgiving menu. And this one, it has the uh, the schedule for when you put things in the oven, the things that you have finished cooking, things you need to make sure to not forget. I went through here, and I, I have the exact same thing for Christmas. I, I cut printed those out and put them in there because, uh, eh, let's face it, that's kind of boring. Here is my holiday baking list. And then I printed out some regular menu planners from my uh, polka dot posing. I put those on page next to the uh, shopping list because I'm going to go ahead and I will probably plan my menus out for Christmas week this week. I'll, I'll tell you the truth. I, I like to get all that. I struggle. I struggle so much with menus, it's not even funny. And I call my daughter and I'll ask her, What should I what should I have for you? She'll tell me, Mama, she says, Go get last year's menu. You know you still got it. And here's holiday recipes. And here's little holiday favorites for breakfast, sides, main dishes, and I will probably fill that out. Is sticking together here. This is a recipe I found last year. I put it in my. Um, I got a blue booger. Hang on, let me get him out of there. Okay. We made this, or rather, my granddaughter made it. I've had the recipe. And it's called a spunky spinach dip. Oh my, that was so good. They just ate that up. And then I found this one on Pinterest. And I just printed it out real small and glued it in here. And they were called uh, Grinch Crinkle Cookies. And, uh, you know, my daughter actually asked me for the recipe. And she does not do recipes. So I got those two in here for sure for Christmas. And
and then I will, these are probably all going to be cookie recipes, be some cookie, but there's several recipes in here, and we have, uh, oh wow, there's a lot of them in here, so I probably won't use all of those, but I can, now he's cute, I like him, but he needs a little green, and I will just, And uh, if you're still with me, I appreciate it because I know this is a little chaotic. I have attention deficit disorder, so my mind kind of gets all over the place. There's a uh, laminate here, so that doesn't want to go. I love borders. <laughs> Hello, boundaries. Yeah, didn't he look better with a little border around him? This was a little thing I clipped out of. Uh, I took a picture of this in my uh, one of my gooseberry Christmas books. I have all of them. And I uh, stuck that there. And this is holiday fun. And it has it written real light. That, you know, craft new ornaments, decorate your home, have a tree lighting ceremony, take holiday family photos, have a holiday dance party, give treats to someone new, build or draw a snowman. It's uh, 31. There are 31 of them. Random act of kindness. Go see the lights. Make s'mores by the fire. Write a letter to Santa. Send, ooh, that's a good idea. Make s'mores by the fire. We can do that in the fireplace. Send out holiday cards. Bake holiday treats. Watch a holiday movie. Sip hot cocoa. See a holiday show or concert. Put it, cut out paper snowflakes. And it just a big old long list of stuff like that. And then these, I like these. And I use these. I probably already got it started. If you, this is for a little photo, a little inspiration photo, like something you see on Pinterest. And then you have ideals down here. And this is like holiday projects and uh, inspiration. And what is this? Oh, this is for my outdoor reefs. I hang up these uh, green reefs on my windows every year and they're, they're plain. They're just, you know, the plain ones that you buy. And I saw somebody take chalk paint and brush the ends of one and it was so pretty. And I'm going to take my, uh, I'm going to take some chalk paint and I'm going to paint my reefs before I hang them outside. And I've got some different out that ideals for my outdoor uh, my outdoor uh, decorations. This is my advent wreath project. I uh, was thinking, and you know, these, I have, all these I've written down in friction pen because, you know, those are still not in cemented in stone. I can hit a, well, hot heat gun, this page will be clean. But there's several projects here. One of the projects that I need to work on is my Christmas cards, and I need to get going on that. And uh, this section here, I really like this section. This section is organizing and cleaning your home for the holidays. And I found this one in the, um, come on, Brain, you can do it, uh, Poke It Up Posey. And this is Thanksgiving housework, and I thought I'd just poke that in there, and it says clean, and then it has kitchen, decorate, table. Because we're not going to have Thanksgiving at my house anyway. We're always having it at my daughter-in-law's. And these are just a bunch of blank pages. So, first thing, I need to find me up front close to the fall stuff. I like to have a fall brain dump. So I'm going to put this up here.
let me get my pencil out so I don't make a big old huge boo-boo. I love making big old huge boo-boos. I like to, uh, I get ideals, and I need some place to put them where I'll see them again. So these two pages are going to be my fall uh, brain dump or brainstorming. It's more like a storm up there, but let's see. I need a Christmas brain dump. I'm going to go to the back for that because I need it to be accessible immediately. Oh, there's stickers. Cool. I won't use those, but cool. So in the back. I don't worry about making this pretty. Because, uh, you know, I'm going to go through there and highlight all that stuff after I do it, or I'm going to put a big black mark through it if I change my mind and I don't do it. That's just how I roll. And I slapped a, uh, I slapped these little stickers on there so I can find them. Let's see. Red. I'm getting my head in there, I'm sorry. Okay, Christmas brain dump. I'm going to have to go check all my list in my other places where I jot notes. Okay, I've got my... Uh, Got a gnat in here. It's driving me crazy. So I've got my fall, my movie list. Oh, I gotta have my movie list. I love my movie list. Uh, I will need several pages for that. It's not gonna be back there. Let's see. Fortunately, they gave us a lot of blank paper in this one. Okay. Friction pan. Oh, love it. Okay. This is where I'm going to put my holiday movie list. I say holiday because this will include Christmas movies, Halloween movies, and fall movies. Otherwise, it would say Christmas because I'm a Christmas girl. I do not want to be politically correct. Of course, nobody's ever going to accuse me of that anyway. So, there's my Christmas list. movie list. Okay, now 
I need my healer's gifts. Ah, how rude. And now we know what we're going to do with the budget section. We need a list for shock stacking stuffers. Stocking stuff for this. I need washi tape. I have white post-it tape, but it's in the other room, so I love making labels with my post-it tape. nice thing about the post-it tape is when I find the white I can just pull it up and stick it in there. Okay, so we have our stocking stuffers page. I have no stocking stuffers yet. here. Hmm. I'll use one of these. And I'm a messy, messy crafter, as you can probably see. Okay, this is Christmas cards. But it soon will say something else. I love this washi tape. I'm not real sure where I got it. It's really, really, really pretty. Can you see it? It's uh, little berries and uh, twigs. <laughs> My brain, I kind of forgot what I was doing. All right, project list. <laughs> Stores to be 
Okay, and back over here to this part. Let's see, we have Thanksgiving, and it's going to be the Thanksgiving shopping list. This can be my um, this can be my Christmas pantry list. I like to stock up on certain things for uh, my pantry, like uh, flour and sugar and, um, you know, stuff to bake with, uh, candied fruit for fruitcakes. Uh, I need to have several gingerbread house kits. I have a grandson that's almost 18 years old and he still wants to make his Christmas gingerbread house every year. He is adorable. I love him so much. I hope he always stays as sweet as he is. Last Christmas, I worked so hard on my house before Christmas. And it was amazing, if I do say so myself. And all the family came in, and everybody walked in, and, you know, they were all talking, and not one person said anything about my house. And then my grandson walked in. He walked in the kitchen, he looked at me, and he said, Grandma, your house looks amazing. <laughs> I love him so much. <laughs> he never misses a thing. He's just like his daddy. My son-in-law is the same way. I'm going to end this here, and I will be working on this again, but so far, that's what I've got. Thanks for watching. May God bless.